Hey, what's up everybody? Still working on this AW because we're filming on the same freaking night that we did the last video, okay? Alright, this is what we do. So, uh, this, it's a club meeting night, and I thought tonight was a real club, real good meeting. Uh, I kind of said this in the last video, this, the last video I talked about how this club reminds me a lot about the Bosque County Club, uh, that I was, uh, into. For the most part, from what I've seen so far, now I'm new to the club, right, new to the club. But from the outside looking in, well, I guess I'm inside, right? I'm a, I am a club member, but I'm still kind of like, you know, trying to find my place within the club, right? Like so, but from what I could tell, just like how I was new at one point at the Bosque County Club, is that, you know, you go to a meeting, discuss all your stuff, and then afterwards you go out to eat for dinner and uh, some good camaraderie. And that's what I'm really enjoying about this club. It makes you feel feel really good and, you know, gets you involved. And that's one of the things that I've wanted to do ever since I moved over here to Wascom is to get back on the air and get involved. And that's exactly what I've done. So with the club meeting that we had, we had one of the older guys, one of the older ham radio guys, you know, putting out his knowledge, okay, which is what we need, right? I've been a ham radio operator for, what, 15 years, okay? But I've been around radios for 40-some-odd years, okay? I just grew up around them. So, so radio, this radio hobby is nothing new. Even though I've only been, you know, I've only had my license for 15 years, 40-some-odd years being around radios. It's, it's a fun hobby. But if you're new to the hobby, say you got your ticket, your, your, your technician license, and you're on a budget, okay? You're on a budget, and you cannot listen. You may come from the CB radio world. Let me tell you guys something. The CB radios and all that is not, I wouldn't even consider that technology because that is junk. It's garbage. Yeah, it's fun junk and garbage. I'm not going to lie. I enjoy it. Still do, even though there's no one really talking on there except truckers, and I love truckers, but... You know, there's no, like, no base stations, at least around here. There's none of that going on, right? Um, it's pretty much a dead, at least in this area. The technology is garbage, okay? So when you're buying stuff, understand that it is junk, it's trash. You know? Again, like I said, I'm not trashing on CBs. They're fun junk and trash. But, compared to ham radio, is listen... You could take you a Cobra, you could take you a Ranger, or whatever you want. They will not compare to an Icom Kenwood or my favorite, a Yezu. Just will not do it. So, saying that, say you're getting into the hobby as a technician. It's like, hey, I want to talk to the local repeaters. Because when you're a technician, all you have is UHF, VHF, 10 meters, 6 meter, and I can't remember what else, right? But more than likely... You got your test through a local ham radio club or a ham fest or whatever. Okay, so you're wanting to talk to those guys, get to know those guys, because those guys are probably on two meter. Two meter is the most popular band uh, amongst most clubs, most local clubs. Now, obviously, you have HF clubs. That's a different. That's a different video. But if you're wanting to go and get into ham radio on a budget hundred dollars hundred fifty dollars you could do this again this is a great topic that we had in our club and uh it was like well, most of the guys in this room probably know exactly you know how to do this so this needs to be put out publicly so what are you going to do i mean obviously you need an antenna you need a radio you need a coax you need a power supply okay so, if you go down that list, you're thinking, uh, if you bought all that stuff brand new, you bought all that stuff brand new, you're looking at spending four or $500 if you bought all that stuff brand new. But, you don't have to buy brand new. Go to a ham fest, go to a swap meet, go get on eBay. Uh, there's places where you could buy used two meter radios. 
Kenwood two, TM281, I have it in my truck. Yezu FT2800, I've, ha I've had one of those. Okay, there's a lot of two, basic two meter radios, just basic two meter radios, no digital, no D-Star, no nothing like that, no APRS, nothing like that. Just a basic radio. And listen, I love basic radios. All that high fancy technology. Listen, I got these radios back here. I mean, I got a little bit of technology, but not that much, right? They do have some more capabilities. They're expensive radios, that's for sure. But here's the deal. You don't have to start off that way. You don't have to start off that way. So you could go get a used radio, a two meter radio at a ham fest, 50 bucks, yeah, you can find one, right? Especially, especially, let's just say that I had a table at a ham fest. If I see a guy and, and the guy says, hey, I'm getting into radios, I don't have a radio yet, okay? Um, and I got a radio here, Mark, for 75 bucks, 80 bucks. And I see a guy saying, hey, you know, I'm a little bit on a tight budget, but I'm wanting to get into radio. I'm going to make a deal to, with that new ham. Okay, because here's the deal. I'm wanting to spread the hobby, right? I'm going to spread the hobby. I may not knock it down half price, you know? They have an $80 radio, make it a $40 radio, okay? Talk to the people who are, you know, are selling radios. Talk to them. Tell them your story. Tell them that, man, hey, uh, and, it, and you're not lying. You, you know, you are on a budget. Listen, ham radios are expensive, and to buy all this stuff at once can break the bank it literally can so you start off with you stuff and then as you go then you could go and man, you know what I'm gonna splurge and go get an expensive radio but your radio is going to be probably one of your most expensive things on your list just because of what it is you know but, but the antenna the most important part of your whole system is one of the cheapest okay We'll get to that. You'll need a power supply, okay? You need a power supply. You don't need a big. You can get you a 20 amp power supply. You can again. You can buy these at um, at uh, 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 Hamfest, eBay's, all sorts of places, Facebook Marketplace. You can buy a, a, a decent power supply. They'll last you forever, okay? But you don't have to break the bank on that, right? Um, now, down the road, if you want to go get you a more expensive one that, you know, can handle the HF stuff and all that, because, you know, these radios are 100 watts, you know. But, uh, you know, if you need just a smaller amp or smaller, excuse me, power supply, you know, is what you get. And shoot, you can pick one up for, you know, 30, 40 bucks and a good used one. Okay. And so, okay, so that gets you on the air that you have your power supply that will turn on your radio, it will power it up, okay? Now you need coax. I will say, don't buy used coax. That is one thing new out of all this. Get you some new coax. And listen, you can buy this stuff online for cheap, but hey, if you want it now, you can go up to your nearest truck stop and buy some, right? Because here's what I'm gonna tell you to do, okay? If you can, you, don't always, you may not always be able to do it, when you get an antenna, you could start off with a mobile antenna if you're around something to mount. Say you could go up through the window with your coax and then mount an antenna somewhere, right? So you can get a mobile antenna at a ham fest for 10 bucks, 5 bucks, okay? Or you could get a J-pole. Look at that up, a J-pole. Or you could build your own. Building your own is going to cost the cheapest. Uh, but a, you could get a J-Pole, which is easy to make, but you could also find those online. You can find those at HamFest. Again, 5 10 20 bucks for these things. Now, if you get one of those things, then you're going to look at maybe getting a pole. You could get a pole like a top rail from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's uh, in the garden center. Usually, they come in 10-foot sections. You put that up, you know, and those will cost about 20 bucks a piece. Um, I use those. I use top rail for each side of my, my dipole. Um, I, uh, but I use a telescoping pole 
Uh, but those will cost. Those will cost. Unless you get them used. Basically, if you buy your stuff used, Hamfest, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or Fleabay, um, places like that, you could get some good deals on stuff to get you started. And this is all it's about is getting you started. What if you was to get into it and it's like, I don't like it? Then you're not out. So you're looking at 100 bucks, 200 bucks, you know, something like that. And so if you can do that, then uh, you can do that. And that's going to get you. It's like, okay, you know, that doesn't sound impressive, putting a mobile antenna outside, you know, you know, right outside your window. That doesn't really sound too impressive. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to hit the local repeaters. Now, if you live out in the boondocks, good luck with that. You're going to need something big. But if you live near a decent-sized town, doesn't have to be a big city, you can hit repeaters. As long as you can hit them, that's all you need. Get you started, and then you can go from there. You can talk further, getting you a bigger antenna, more coax. You know, like I said, RG8, RG Mini 8, that stuff is cheap. Stuff is cheap. You can buy that stuff. Uh, you can buy that stuff at Hamfest. If you buy that stuff new, that, that can get expensive. Unless you're doing that mobile stuff. You can get that mobile stuff. That's pretty cheap. Uh, but I'm just saying coax can get expensive just like anything else. Your antenna is going to be your cheapest thing. But uh, for the most part, that's how, how, how you get started uh, on a budget. Um, ham radio, though, if you're wanting to do it lifetime, get ready to spend some money, right? If you want to keep up with the Joneses, good luck with that. Mortgage the house. I'm just saying. I'm just joking. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching the video here. Subscribe. Uh, uh, bonehead weather for storm chasing. Deplorable radio for, well, this. 73.